is this this is this is a dark oak sapling you can't plant these naturally these are never going to grow whoever you are you need to be aware of that that you need a two by two of that <laughs> What's up, agents? Zir here. Welcome to episode one of SYSMP season two. Now, I actually technically record this particular clip uh, technically a couple days ago because I actually had obviously something else planned. Obviously, I had something else that I uh, uploaded yesterday, but uh, the uh, Realm Owner Gamer Dunia wanted us to go ahead and at least record this intro at least uh together today so i figured well i'm not gonna argue with him so yeah obviously this intro clip uh as i said recorded prior but we're gonna get into like full-on surviving in like a little bit what i'm going to do at least for right now i'm gonna make a little bit of progress before i do like the full-on episode so i'm gonna be doing stuff like in between episodes and then the next time you guys are going to end up seeing me in this particular video then I'm going to at least have a decent amount of stuff I can't guarantee how much stuff I have um, done at that point I maybe I might have at least a little bit of I remember that would actually be kind of nice but obviously I don't really know for sure if I'm going to manage to do that regardless um so yeah I'm going to go ahead and get into this and as I said yeah it's going to be technically for me tomorrow by the time I actually continue recording again because like I said I had something else planned for uh recording but yeah regardless yeah I'm going to go ahead and get into this so yeah I've been wasting enough time I realize this Okay, so it is actually the next day for me, and I've got, uh, I mainly a really, a whole ton of progress done. I kind of, um, said I was only going to make a little bit of progress, if I remember correctly, but I got a ton of things done. Uh, first off, I did not mention this in the uh, previous clip, which I probably should have. We actually do have experimental gameplay on, which means we get to play with uh, crossbows and well I already got myself a crossbow and I've got multi shot at this point in time so not too bad all things considered and um, that previous click um, unfortunately Gamer Dunia the owner of the realm um, he accidentally set the uh, realm to peaceful it has been fixed as of right now but yeah a little bit of a mistake not that it's really too hard to fix not that I really know too much about making realms but at least he did that. And also, one last thing. Um, apparently, this particular sea that we're actually on is one that I personally have been on before. One of my older uh, single-player survival series, the one with the most amount of episodes, might I add, used this particular sea. And even though I don't know the layout of the entire world, I do technically know at least some of the surroundings so at least I have some familiarity going for me which is at least nice I did notice that there's actually a ravine that generated near the jungle that did not exist before because I do remember for a fact when I started this particular seed ravines were not in the game as of yet so I'm not too surprised there's gonna be a brand new generation even though this is technically and we'll see. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit carried away. Just wanted to give you guys a few updates. So yeah, I've got a ton of stuff done, as I've already said. And I've actually got, well, pretty much this chest, this chest, and a little bit of this chest, and absolutely nothing else done as of right now. I've actually technically got, I think if I remember correctly, yeah, I've got um, almost 20 blocks of so I've just been pretty busy in between episodes and part of the reason why I did this instead of actually like doing like full on uh, mining on camera is actually because I specifically want to get started on projects straight away and I thought this would actually be the smartest choice all things considered there will most likely end up being people who will disagree with me and I'm perfectly uh, fine accepting that but yeah at least I have 
my reason. So here's what my plans are. As you could probably tell, I'm actually in the swamp, exact same swamp as the last time I was on the sea, obviously. And what I actually thought I would do is, well, I want to build myself like a legitimate home, and I thought something that could potentially be interesting to put together would be a massive witch's hut that I could potentially live in. I thought that would be kind of interesting. That's actually a project that I have not done as of it, and something I've not mentioned yet. I've got some uh, bamboo growing. Uh, obviously, they do not spawn naturally in the jungle. I had to spend a ton of time fishing to get, um, but that's besides the point. Okay, so, yeah, what I've done is I've gathered a ton of resources to go ahead and potentially get this started. So, what I do, in fact, want to use to build this particular witch's hut is, first off, I've got myself a ton of of dark oak wood that I want to end up using and yeah I'm gonna use that and I also want to eventually at some point turn this entire swamp into pretty much um, dark oak trees. I realize it's gonna be uh, something that I'm gonna have to work on for quite some time and I don't even know if I'm actually going to manage to get in them but at least I can attempt it uh, but yeah so let's go ahead and at least get started so what I was thinking what I could potentially do to go ahead and get to my house is actually use lily pads which I do have a few lily pads not too many but they're not too hard to go ahead and get you know what let me go ahead and put my Fishing Rahway, I, I am going to technically end up needing a um, an axe in order to go ahead and put this together. Also, I probably should make at least a few more torches. That would actually be smart. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get to work starting this project. And we're going to see exactly what I'm actually able to go ahead and get done. I'm probably just going to go ahead and at least get the base uh, for right now uh, complete. That's kind of like what I have uh, planned for at least the moment. Obviously I've been saying uh, things like that over and over again that you guys get the point. Okay, so this is what I have done so far. I think, uh, I don't know how I managed to put do it, but I think I put one of these slabs underneath. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'll have to fix that in a little bit. But yeah, this is what I have going at least so far. So pretty big space all things considered and I probably will eventually end up making this at least another story tall. At, le at least. I, I imagine that's probably gonna end up happening obviously um I don't know one thing um but yeah so it's not too bad all things considered and I actually went ahead and went with what I would assume to be the style of a witch's hut I mean I have seen witch's huts before so I know pretty much what they look like but it's been a while since I've seen one for real not that it's really a too huge of a problem and yeah apparently somehow I managed to uh, build this underneath. No idea how I managed to do that. Alright, let's go ahead and fix this. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to have a ladder that I'm going to end up using in order to get up. So I think, I'm not mistaken, if I put that there, go ahead and break these two lily pads and I should be fine. Oh, I broke a piece of dirt. I'll fix that in a little bit now that it's really huge of difference. And okay, so I have ladders which I can't put in my inventory. Uh hot bar I should say. Alright, let's go ahead and put that there. Okay, so now we can go ahead. Yep, so not too bad things can save. So this should be a relatively decent space to go ahead and end up working with. I think this should be relatively decent. Now I actually left some room out the front 
so that I'll be able to go ahead and put like a small porch or at least that's the whole idea yeah this is looking pretty good so far and mainly I do like this a lot obviously there's a lot of work to do but you guys get the idea I'm hoping all right so here's what I'm gonna do let's go ahead and take these go ahead and turn them into plants because I'm gonna end up needing them and you know what I probably should go ahead and grab my crafting table although I mainly technically could make a um another one but this is gonna at least save a little bit of materials not too terribly much but at least it'll help all right so one plan I'm doing is obviously I'm gonna set up some walls and I'm gonna put in some um, fence windows because I figured that would probably be the best option and apparently uh, they uh, want me to go ahead and go to sleep. So what I'll do is go to sleep, do a little bit more progress, which obviously I have been doing quite a bit of that. I will say that much. So let's go ahead and see what I can go ahead and get done. I don't know how long this will take, but hopefully not too terribly long. Okay, so it, obviously I have at least some progress done at this point in time. Admittedly, it doesn't look like a whole heck of a lot, but that's eventually going to end up changing. I've obviously, I, I got to get some stuff from So Here's what I want to do, at least for the rest of the episode. I do admittedly want to go ahead and finish this, because obviously this is going to be where I'm going to end up living. But one thing I do at least want to go ahead and do at least show you guys watching... Hopefully the layout of at least the nearby area so you guys get an idea of what's going on. I can already see in the distance from where I am off in the corner of my um, camera. Apparently people are building over there and over there. I'm not 100% sure who is actually building where, but at the same time... I at least want to get an idea of what's at least going on. Hopefully, nobody gets too upset with me looking at stuff. Because I do know for a fact that somebody in particular, I can't remember who off the top of my head. I will say that much. Uh, but apparently someone does not want me to show off. Well, not me in particular, but anyone on the server to... Um, Look at uh, the, what they're doing, which I can understand at least that much. But at least I want to get an idea of what's around here. If you guys saw my um, one single player survival series, which actually I, I'm actually planning on putting that particular playlist in at least the description of this particular episode and probably not further episodes because obviously this is technically... Something at least, I'm at least somewhat familiar with. So, it <laughs> gives at least some proof. Um, and maybe you guys will probably believe me regardless. Um, But yeah, at least I thought I'd show off the area around here. So, we've got ourselves a village right there. There's another village off in the distance. And so, I've also got a chest right here because I'm actually selling some crossbows I made for well initially I was going to end up doing a diamond each but one of the people uh, complained about that have I sold any so far no not yet can't say I'm surprised hopefully eventually people will end up buying them I've actually got them set for four diamonds a piece for right now so yeah this is a village that was in my previous series but unfortunately got completely taken over by zombies unfortunate very unfortunate hopefully that doesn't happen again We're, i'm really hoping because that could potentially be rather useful trading obviously all right so let's make ourselves a couple people building off in the distance 
I'm going to show only this much, just in case they don't want me to show off anything further. If I, um, if you guys did not want me to show that off in the first place, I apologize, but at least I didn't look into full detail, so at least be thankful for that much. You know, while, while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and grab some potatoes, because I figure I might need some in the future, so can't 100% tell, but I think these are... Two somewhat connected villages. Mainly I uh, have been on this world before, so I'm familiar with at least quite a bit. Yeah, the cats are spawning, obviously, because they're new to the villages. I may have to tame one at some point. I also want to tame a parrot, in particular a gray one, which if you guys saw my uh, previous series when... We finally got parrots. You'll see why I want to get a gray parrot. And I have plenty of name tags to go ahead and get started. Alright. So, over here, this is actually something that was obviously here before. Because obviously this is the same thing. But it's actually slightly different from what it was before. Because down here is actually... A zombie spawner and was uh, claimed by uh, Dunya, who he's actually planning on turning this into a drowned one, which is nice, but for whatever reason, it was actually a skeleton spawner in my series. I assume that world generation, those two particular types of spawners can swap either way. I imagine it's probably how it happened. And then somewhere down in here, it's a pretty big maze. To go ahead and look through because I don't fully remember where it is, but I did admittedly find it. There's actually a spider spawner down in there somewhere, which I actually want to turn that into a legit spider farm because then that way we can have string for the entire series. And obviously, because we have bamboo, that means we have um, scaffolding for the entire series. I'm gonna be so glad once I actually get quick charge on this thing, but yeah, these um. Crossbows are incredibly awesome. I love them. All right, so that's what's currently going on in the world, at least from what I can tell. Oh, yeah, there's actually one more thing I want to at least showcase. So in the previous series, this ravine did not exist because I generated the world before ravines existed. So it's nice to see for a fact that at least some of the generation that was added in through all the updates, get added into old thieves. That is actually really cool. I can't say I'm too surprised that happened. So, yeah, so that's pretty much what's going on as of right now. So, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, go back to at least my place, finish up the um, hut, and... Yeah, I'll probably have, like, my stuff at least inside of the actual hut by the time next episode comes out. Hopefully, and apparently there's someone living right here. Not too bad things considered. Seems like we're pretty close to each other. Oh, is this, this is, this is a dark oak sapling. You can't plant these naturally. These are never going to grow, whoever you are. You need to be aware of that. You need a 2x2 two two of that. Alright, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to go back to my swamp. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the roof for my hut. And then at least show it off and finish off the episode from there. And now to go ahead and add a front door my house and there we go i'm actually pretty much done at this point in time so not too bad all things considered so let's go ahead and show you guys the inside obviously it's going to be pretty sparse i know that for a fact obviously i'm the one who built it but i went ahead and went with a slightly sloped design so i thought that would be an interesting little detail this is something i've never done before and i think something i will probably end up doing in between episodes is going ahead and um, making it so that there are um, vines across this thing because um, that is technically how normally generated witches huts 
are set up and I will probably yeah I will probably end up doing at least getting my stuff inside here obviously and maybe eventually in a later episode depending if I run out of space or not I'll make a second story I did technically say that but other than that this is actually where I'm gonna go ahead and end off a of video so Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure that like button. But more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agencyp 0 to stay updated. This has been Juice Juice. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later.